Hey, welcome back. I'm Paranoid Rat, and this is another video. Sorry, this video is a lot later than I intended. My whole schedule for uploads got off, and my whole entire spring break was an absolute shit show. I was just having a really bad go of it and just needed a break, so sorry this video is coming out a lot later than intended. You were all very kind and supportive while I scrounged up the physical, emotional, and mental ability to draw again. And here we are. Thank you for waiting. I am alive. So with uh, no further ado, let us get into the video. <laughs> In the past, what, like two weeks? Week? I, I have no sense of time anymore. I was basically just holed up in my room, rotting, and finally, um, caved and bought Undertale and started playing that game. I am- I love this game so much. I am trying so hard not to just ramble about how amazing this game is and you need to play it. Anyways, it reawakened my obsession of pixel art and, like, video game design, which if you know me, you know I am obsessed with video game art. And, you know, pixel art is very commonly used for that. So, you know, I- I'm doing a video about drawing pixel art for the first time. Yeah. So, you know, a while ago I attempted to do this and uh, didn't watch any videos, had no idea what to do, it was using an app that was not intended for pixel art in the slightest, and I like, got like 10 minutes in and uh, gave up, because, yeah. But then, this has reawakened my desire to do pixel art, so that is what we're going to be doing today. I. I am going from absolutely no experience with pixel art to, um, actually stuff I'm really proud of. So I'm just dragging you along with me with what I learned and basically just, uh, showing you my process, I guess. I, I barely have one, but it's close enough. Anyways, let's get into it. So, first up, I had to do some research because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Again, I am going from absolute zero here. So I watched some YouTube videos and um, I had to find some workarounds because Procreate is not intended for good pixel art. You know, people still use it for that, just it's not meant for that. So I needed to make my own brush, which was honestly pretty easy. So I, it's not perfect, but you know, it got the job done. I basically just make a canvas that's one pixel by one pixel, fill it in with white, Save it as a photo, went to brushes, and created a new one with uh, the pixel that I saved as my shape. Adjusted a few settings, which are uh, here. I'll write them down for you guys if you want to follow along and do this, or, you know, just watch it, and I don't care. And again, it's not perfect brush, and Procreate is not meant for this, but I am cheap, and it worked. If pixel art is something that you want to, like, do more of, there are some, like, free apps that you can get, I think, and, you know, better ones that I'm sorry you can pay for that you can find that are, like, more intended for this. But, you know, if you're like me and, uh, don't care and, like, working with subpar materials, Procreate works just fine with this brush. And, side note, I also made a larger version after, where the maximum size was a bit bigger so I could use it to fill in larger uh, stretches of stuff because filling in every single pi pixel was uh, killing me. And, you know, of course, I have no self-control and had to do a full image illustration. This was actually really fun. Kind of took a while, but I'm really happy with the result and I love when people do art like this, so I had to do it myself. So I just put in my murder podcast and checked out for like three hours. And when I say trust the process, I I am not joking. This this was painful. The I, I kept working at it until I was happy, but it just took forever to look decent. So if you're trying this, just don't give up too early because just it, it, it took a while to look like halfway decent and me to be okay with what I was creating. But, you know, I pushed through. 
But the biggest thing I learned from this was just take your time. I'm certain if you practice this a lot, that won't be a problem. But for the first while, it'll probably take a long time and be kind of frustrating, but that's kind of how the deal is with everything. So I guess just take your time, work at it, get better, and on it, like just from doing this a little bit, I already felt a lot faster and more confident with each pixel. So, yeah. And also, color palettes was my best friend here. I just found a color palette online that I liked and I used that and it made, it saved my life. Because it's very easy to uh, get wrapped up in colors, but by having set colors and just using those was a game changer. I mean, of course I did branch out and use others whenever my color palette didn't quite have the tone in hue I wanted, but mostly just keeping it in that and it enhanced the drawing a ton. It would have been sheer chaos if I hadn't done that. So color palettes save lives. After that, I was having a lot of fun. I, so I decided to give drawing a character a go. So I took my beloved Billy, who you all love and all <laughs> said belonged in a video game, so it felt accurate. And I tried to do what I did at the beginning again and just look better. So a this I'm so much happier with, and I honestly really love this one, and I'm really proud of it. And the biggest thing I have for, like, doing something like this, you know, again, coming from a complete newbie, but when doing a character, what I found was really helpful was doing just a blank silhouette first, you know, I did it in black, but you could probably do it in any other color. And then going in with the colors on top of it, and, like, going from there, I don't know. It was actually it was actually really nice and like really satisfying, where you're just taking in uh, the shape more because for something like this and especially like video games or character designs, the silhouette is key for the character design. So I found that the most helpful, and highly recommend that if you're trying to convert your characters into uh, pixel art video game character things, because it it worked really easily and was really fun and satisfying to do. Again, I have no self-control, so I decided to make it like a <laughs> video game display with uh, her customary kitchen knife there. And I, I think one of my favorite things from doing this pixel art, it's not really a challenge, learning experience, whatever, uh, was just adding texture just by throwing colors in there and just, I don't know. There are, like, more clean styles, but I just like the ones that are more messy with just a bunch of colors that it's kind of hard, I guess, to make it not look like a mess, and I don't think I've completely nailed it, but I really enjoy doing it and uh, recommend, because I feel like I just took it to, like, the next tier, whenever it was just looking really blank and really boring, just by throwing in colors, and I liked it, and it made me happy. And then finally... Uh, I tried to do a more rendered character drawing, and I regret this. I was tired. I did all of these drawings in one sitting. My eyes hurt. I didn't want to be there anymore. And then I still was. I don't know why I was, but I thought I still wanted to draw. So probably if I wasn't so burnt out, I would have liked this a bit more. Um, but, uh, yeah. It, it's fine. I don't know. I think if I'd taken more time with it, I'd be a lot happier with it and just focused and paid a bit more attention to the composition and pose and framing. I would have liked it a lot more and maybe chosen a character that was a lot less detailed because I missed a lot of those. Or it didn't even look like them. Whole thing, I almost considered not including this in the video, but I think I've said this before. I think it's important to uh, show your failures as well as your successes, you know, it's not all gonna be perfect, and I, I still have a lot to learn if I want to do more of this art, but yeah. It was fun. I really enjoyed this, and I really want to uh, do more pixel art in the future, because this was fun, and I love video game characters, as I have mentioned. So, naturally, I had to make a video about it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if I sound exhausted, I'm 
still getting back into the swing of things, because school sucks. And I hope to get back on an upload schedule again soon, but we will see. I try to upload every week. We'll see. But before you go, if you uh, want to support me and my art, I finally have a Redbubble shop. So, yeah. I'm truly trying to get more art up there, but I've been busy and uh, motivation has been low for, except for like these like brief stretches of time. It's, it's annoying. It's fine. But if you don't, you know, want to buy stuff for me, that's fine too. But, uh, you know, a subscribe, a like, a comment really means a lot and uh, supports me. But, you know, or don't. Just leave. I don't, I, don't I, re I really don't care. I don't know you. You don't know me. You're strangers on the internet. I'm rambling. Goodbye.